In this video, I will show you how to fix your Xbox controller not connecting to your PC. We will be covering a few methods, so make sure to stick around. For the first method, if you're using a wireless connection, make sure that your controller is fully powered. You can try swapping out the batteries with a new pair. Then, try connecting the controller once again to your PC, and you can try using it. If it still doesn't work, you can try connecting your controller to your PC by using the wire that your controller came with, if you haven't tried that already. That might help you connect it as well. Then after you do that, try using your controller once again and see if it works. If it doesn't, move over to the next method. For the next method, you can try updating your controller using your console. To do that, press the Xbox button on your controller, then go to the far right in your avatar, then scroll down and select settings right here. Once you get right here, scroll down and go into devices and connections, then go into accessories right here, then scroll down and select the three dots. And right here, you will have an update button. This will update your controller to the latest firmware and will resolve any issues that there is with the controller. Now you can try reconnecting your controller to your PC and see if it works. If it doesn't, go over to the next method. For the next method, try updating your controller drivers through Device Manager. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen, press the search button and write Device Manager. Then open up the application at the top. Once you get in here, scroll down and find Xbox Peripherals. Double left click this, then right click your Xbox controller and press Update Driver. Here you can search automatically for drivers or you can browse your computer for drivers if you have downloaded them previously. Let's select this and if the best drivers are already installed, you can move on to the next thing, but if they are not, you can try using your controller once again. For the next thing, you can also try disabling and enabling your controller. Right click it, then press disable device, press yes right here and then press enable device and now try using it as well. Also, you can edit all of the USB ports by allowing them to keep working instead of getting shut down to save power. To do that, go to Universal Serial Bus Controllers, double left click them and right click all of the USBs and press Properties. Then go into Power Management, make sure that you uncheck this setting right here. Repeat this process for all of the USB ports that you see in your device manager. Now you can try using your controller. If it still doesn't work, go over to the next method. For the next method, you can try setting your controller up through the Windows settings and calibrating it. To do that, go to the bottom left and press the search button and write settings. Then open up this application right here. Now once you get in here, select the search bar in the middle and write controller. Then open up the setup USB game controller section right here. And when this pops up, you can either press advanced and select your exact controller if you have multiple ones connected or you can press properties and test all of the buttons right here and in settings you can calibrate the buttons and also reset them to default. Now you can try using your controller once again after you do that and if this still didn't help you can move on to the next method. For this method if you're using Steam to play games you can always enable Steam input for Xbox controllers. To do that, go to the top left, press the Steam button, then press Settings, then go over to Controller right here on the left, and you enable Steam Input for Xbox controllers right here at the top. Make sure this is enabled. Now you can try using your controller once again. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.